Today I'm helping a buddy Andy uh, just bought an 06 Tahoe and I think it's a Tahoe and it has the AFM, the uh, displacement on demand or active fuel management, however you want to say it in it and he wants to turn it off. Uh, I thought for a long time that you had to do the cam kit with the lifters uh, but after doing some research it looks like you can disable it through HP tuners or as long as you have a tuner that's capable of doing so. So I uh, went ahead and grabbed the cable and uh, downloaded the newest version of HP tuners and gonna give it a try. So he'll be over here soon. Um, hopefully it works, so just go in. It looks like it's just a few settings. Uh, turn it off, disable it, and then we'll have to see what it does. You guys don't know is you have to unlock every vehicle to this and it costs around $100. Uh, it takes two credits, each credit's 50 bucks, and that's just to unlock it. That's just to be able to write tunes to it. You can, I believe, read from it and stuff like that, uh, log it, but to be able to write a tune to the vehicle, you have to unlock the computer to be able to do that. So uh, to be able to do this, we'll have to pay the 100 bucks, unlock it, write the tune, uh, disable the DOD and uh, active fuel management, and we'll see how it goes. We'll play with it. And uh, I haven't played a lot with HP tuners. That's part of the reason why I'm starting to play or try to build this car. Uh, so then I can run the new, I believe it's E3080 CM with the new uh, Gen 5 LT so I can start learning some of that. That engine has the active fuel management as well. So something that I can play with, learn to tune around, uh, and then probably put a cam in it or whatever. Uh, Andy's vehicle I don't think has anything done to it yet so the fuel and everything should be real good. Alright everyone so I'm sitting in Andy's Tahoe and we're going to disable this. Uh, so here it is in HP tuners. You go engine, lean, and then DOD, and you can enable and disable it right here. So I'll go disable. Turns red right there, shows that it's made a change. And then we go right vehicle, and then I'll go through the licensing process. So I went ahead and accepted the credits to two, right calibration. Now you can write entire, write calibration, write VIN, uh, and do not write. Uh, just write calibration, it'll only write the changes that we made. Which they say you don't want to really do uh, write entire, because that's where you can mess some stuff up. We'll go ahead and let it load, then we'll take the car for a drive and see if it works. Alright guys, so we're driving. Uh, so when do you usually notice it? It'll, it it would have been, been doing it already. Yeah, it's more apparent, you know. Yeah, 55, 55 60. In there, yeah. So on HP tuners, you can open up the scanner tool and then hit record, uh, and then it'll data log everything as well. Kind of cool. You get to watch all your, um, all the trims and everything from the O2 sensors. Uh, make sure all your sensors are reading right, engine coolant, speed. Uh, something else we're going to adjust on this is probably the speedometer here. I need to find out where we need to adjust that and adjust that, but kind of cool deal. Uh, it makes all your counts and everything. This is the latest version of HP Tuners. I updated it last night, so looks like that worked. It turned off the active fuel management, so Andy should be happy with it now, <laughs> or at least a little bit better. Yes, sir. All right, so we're adjusting the tire size on here. We uh, took the tire diameter of 33 inches, made it into millimeters, which is like 838. Uh, did a little math times pi, uh, gives us 2631 on the diameter. So we'll go ahead and make that change and write it to the computer. So to verify speed, I just went ahead and pulled up the GPS on the phone and then in the scanner, so 47. Uh, 45 there, 46, 45. So that's pretty close. Maybe one or two off. What do you have over there? Right at 45. Like right at 45 that. there. And, okay. So 46, 47 per this. I don't know how accurate these are on your cell phone, but uh, it's fairly close. Might need to check it a couple other ways too not a professional tuner by any means but I'm learning a little bit every day so if you'd like to see more about what I'm learning please let me know in the comments below and I'll do some more of these videos with tuning uh, thank you everybody for watching and I appreciate it so much